Good morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. Thank you for starting the mm -hmm. day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm excited to be starting mm -hmm. up a new financial series with my first guest this mm -hmm. morning. She is a certified financial planner mm -hmm. who has had her business since 1982. Now, her philosophy is that you work hard for your money, but in reality, your money should be working hard for you. Her clients stick with her for decades, and because of her hard work mm -hmm. and dedication to her profession, she really helps them meet all of their financial goals. Roxanne, thank you for being here with me this morning. Mm -hmm. Jenna, thank you for inviting me to be here. Of course, mm -hmm. I am excited mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. this series. Mm -hmm. And now, Roxanne, do you work with clients down here in the Florida Keys? I do, Jenna, um, mm -hmm. although the majority of my clients are still in the Boston area, New England, because I started my business there. I do have clients here in the Keys, and I've attracted a lot of professionals and business owners who have said, Roxanne, can you please give us some assistance and guidance? Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. what brought you down to the Keys, Roxanne? I have to ask that because I know you've got your ties to Boston. Well, Jenna, I'll tell you, those winters are really tough in Boston. <laughs> and I came to the Keys on vacation like so many other people and said, mm -hmm. I think I like this place. Yeah. And so I've been coming back uh, since 1994. Okay. And mm -hmm. so you're just, sounds like you're just beginning then to kind of work mm -hmm more intensely with people down here well in the you case. know I, a lot of people I've been here for a long time didn't know what I did for a living and mm -hmm. you know people have found out and said to me many business owners have said Roxanne I'm in my 30s I'm in my 40s I've never started a retirement plan for myself mm -hmm. or my employees how do I do that what are the first steps mm -hmm. and so I started doing some seminars for business professionals this year and I'm going to expand that whole program of seminars in the fall uh, to incorporate more business topics and be of assistance to people here in the Keys. Wonderful, and that's going to be very beneficial for people. Yeah. Now, Roxanne, mm -hmm. why don't you give us just an overview of what exactly financial planning is? Sure. Financial planning is a discipline where you're looking at the total picture of a person's financial life. So, you know, you can start looking at that. their budgeting and their cash flow, of course. And then you're looking at insurance. Are, are they properly insured? Then you're looking at wealth management issues. Well, where is your money? Is it invested appropriately for your time horizon and your risk tolerances? And then, of course, you're looking at, you know, are you saving? And are you got, have you got a retirement plan in place, an appropriate one uh, that's going to suit yourself, your company, your employees, if in fact you have a corporation? Um, Next, you're talking about tax planning. Are you doing the appropriate amount of tax planning so you're not paying too much? Mm -hmm. Obviously, meeting what your needs are. And then last, estate planning. Mm -hmm. You know, how are you going to leave your assets? Uh, are you going to leave them to charity, family, friends, etc.? Now, Roxanne, mm -hmm. I'm in my 20s. I've yes. just recently mm -hmm. graduated from college, Correct. just kind of started out in my yeah. career. Yeah. Is this something, financial planning, something that I need to really start focusing on now? Oh, absolutely, Jenna. If you start now, it is just going to be so beneficial for you. I tell young folks, I get so excited when they're young and they're being inquisitive and they want to learn more about money, mm -hmm. that if they start saving now, let's say you decide to cut back on the amount of beer or martinis that you consume <laughs> at the Green Parrot or another fa you know, fabulous uh, institution here in Key West, or you drink less coffee in the morning. If you're able to save, let's say $20 a week, and you're able to do that consistently through the year, so that's a little over $1,000 a year, and you were able to do that for the next 20 years or save $20,000. If you just let that money, Jenna, compound over time, by the time you reach age 65, if you have a, a, a nice portfolio, you could have well over a million dollars for retirement. How easy is that? Really? Just by saving now? Just by saving now. Mm -hmm. If you wait until you're 50, you don't have that time for the right. monies to accumulate right. and to compound. That's definitely something I need to think about. Now, no. do you work with mm -hmm. clients, mm -hmm. Roxanne, who mm -hmm. are in their 40s or their 50s, mm -hmm. 60s, mm -hmm. and they have the regret that they didn't start saving soon enough? You know, that's an interesting question, Jenna. I was just reading about a group. They're the largest investment advisory group in the world, the DeVere Group, and they asked their clients with a million dollars or more of investable assets, what's your largest regret regarding your finances and 57 percent of them said I didn't start financial planning earlier enough mm -hmm. they didn't start it 
soon enough in their lifetime. So it is something that's so critical to do right now. Now what is another question, Roxanne, that you get asked a lot through all of the clients that you have? Oh, you know, questions of course always have to do with the markets and mm -hmm. what's going on with the market today and how does it relate to me and how my portfolio and, you know, with, the, with interest rates being so low, where do I go? So I get a lot of questions relative to markets and wealth management. So there's a lot of investment questions that, that come along with today's environment. Now, Roxanne, mm -hmm. something I know that we mm -hmm. want to focus on the next time mm -hmm. you're here mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. retirement, which right. is kind of mm -hmm. one of your favorite things to be working on, correct? Correct. I love talking about retirement and retirement mm -hmm. planning because it's so important for people. You know, if you take a look at the average American today, if they're born today, their life expectancy in the U.S. is 78 years. If they reach age 65, their life expectancy, if they're a female, Jenna, is 86. And if you're a male, it's 84. So where are people going to get the resources to maintain their lifestyle if they live to be 86 or 84 or perhaps 96 mm -hmm. or 100? Mm -hmm. And you know, many people are living that long today. Yeah. So retirement planning is really an important topic and I'd like to talk about that some more. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you for being mm -hmm. on this morning mm -hmm. and everybody watch for Re Roxanne in the next couple of weeks. She will be back to talk with us about re retirement planning. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.